Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. This is our awesome little paint tray. If you have not seen this tutorial yet, I'll make sure there's a link up above. I came up with an adjustment. Check this out first. Before you ever mess with your other stuff, duplicate it. Because I love that project. I don't want to mess with it. Here is my copy. Now this is the one that we made in Fusion 360. Notice the edges are rounded and it was super quick, but we did have to do some manual stuff. See this 10 minutes? I'm gonna trash it. Watch this trick, Control D. I'm gonna move it to this side. And part of the problem with the fillets or the chamfers is how much material there is to play with. I had a flashback to when I used to work with SketchUp. Larger designs give us more options. So are you ready for this? That number is 80, so I'm going to shift stretch, and I'm going to make it 160, which is exactly double. All right, so we've got double the material. I'm going to select that shape. Once again, we're going to do send to Fusion 360. This one is simply going to be called copy of the paintbrush holder. I do not have to send it to a specific project. I'm going to send mine to the local desktop. It does take a moment to load. It'll try and auto launch. If it fails, you can do this on its own. You'll notice mine did open just fine. Like I said, though, it does take a moment. And here is our more massive shape. So because we've got all this material, I can grab the entire shape, do F for fill it, and I can type one and press enter. And there's enough material to add the fillets everywhere automatically. How cool is that? I'll do control Z. That's how it looked when it was straight. Let's grab it all again. F for fillet. This time, let's see if it can handle a size two. Nope, that's where I ran into not enough material for those little edges. So I'm gonna hit escape. Let's try this one more time. F for fillet and let's try 1.5 and see if that works. Bingo, that was the largest number we could do. A couple things I do want to remind you again and again. Home gets your view back the way you want if it feels a little wonky. And then also don't forget if you're coming from Tinkercad, make sure you click on your preferences, change the pan zoom normit to Tinkercad. And then of course I had to reverse the zoom direction. All right, so don't forget this is extra large. We're gonna to have to fix that in a second. I do want to show you a couple more things. First, I'm going to hit the letter A. This takes us to the Appearance tab. You could also find it under the menus. Once again, a billion things for you to learn in here. I'm just trying to give you the little nuggets. Now you can pick what you want to build it out of. I'm going to build it out of metal. I'm going to go down and find a Chrome because I love the shiny stuff. Notice I do have to download it. That only takes a second. And right now the entire item gets painted. If boom, we drop it out there. How cool is that? I'm also going to show you how to shut off the grid. Bam, that is clear. We can also go to display settings. And under environment, we can pick another place to play. I'm going to see what this looks like in the infinity pool. That is pretty darn awesome. Let's quickly close that appearance. Now I can go over here to the bodies. Remember, we right click to open that up. And now we can get down here and we can save as a mesh. I will let you know if you didn't have that other one closed, it will not let you. It already remembers my settings for binary, millimeter. I'm gonna choose this one as medium, and then I'm gonna hit okay. This will be an interesting test of how it looks different than the last one. Once again, this makes the export super quick. I'm gonna call this paint tray two, and I'm gonna save it to my hard drive. Notice all those settings saved from the last time I did it. Right now you can see I have returned to Tinkercad. I do not need this anymore so I'm just going to hit delete. Now let's choose import. Click choose a file and grab that new STL file. I'm going to keep the millimeters but check it out. I'm going to scale it right here. I know that is supposed to be 80. When I press enter, it matches everything up and I can simply hit import. And there is the new one brought in. This time we were able to do all of the rounding in one step. And of course, friends, now it's looking like this project is closer to five minutes. How cool is that? 
Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. As you can tell, I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons. Down below, you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, below that, you'll find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also need to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.